hey everyone welcome back to my channel and uh, today's video is going to be on this purple smoky eye makeup look that i had actually recorded last week but uh, due to some problems health problems i was just not able to get to do the voice over and here's a close-up of the eye makeup of that look and purple i i actually really love purple on my skin on my skin like yeah on myself i love that uh, color and uh, yeah this is the uh, final look and uh, this is how it looks up close and uh, yeah my lashes are giving me some trouble here but that's that <laughs> so yeah let's begin to with the tutorial some of this nyx milk on the crease area up until my uh, highlight and for the lid area i'm going to be using that elf uh, cream base since we have a dark color going on in the lids, I don't want to apply a light eyeshadow there. Uh, well, not a light eyeshadow actually. I don't want to apply a lighter base on the lids since we have dark color going on on the lids. So I'm just applying the white uh, base only on the uh, highlight uh, on the trees up until the highlight area. And now I'm just going to apply this tape at the same angle as on the other eye and because i just wanted a sharp line a v shape going on and i'm using my sleek acid palette and i'm taking that uh, pink fuchsia kind of an eyeshadow and applying that on my crease area and uh, since i have partially hooded lids i am going to apply my crease color just a little bit above my natural crease and i'm just going to keep my eyes open and just see where the color is being placed so when i open my eyes i should be able to see that uh, color properly now i'm going to take this matte mauve kind of an eyeshadow and i'm going to go above that pink eyeshadow that i just applied and i'm just going to blend that really well so my uh, crease and transition color are nice and smoked out and i'm just going to take this shimmery eyeshadow and i'm just going to apply that as my highlight shade and uh, yeah that's that i'm going to go again and deepen the crease shade later but for now I just wanted the transition color to go in smoothly and I'm going to take now this light purple eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that below uh, where I had applied the hot pink kind of an eyeshadow. I'm going to apply this, place this purple just below that and I'm taking it all the way in and making sure everything is really blended and also on the outer V I'm placing the same eyeshadow. And I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended. And now I'm again going in with that pink eyeshadow. I'm going to intensify it. And I'm going to take that same eyeshadow on the lower lash line also. As you can see from the other eye, the lower lash line is nice and smoked out. And it's like I have done the lower lash line a little bit more uh, than I normally would smoke it out. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything with a very light uh, pressure on the brush. Now I'm taking this uh, cream base from uh, e.l.f. and uh, this is in the shade eggplant and I'm just going to apply that on my lid area and I'm using a synthetic brush. And I just place it on my lids and then slowly like you know just blend it with my finger. Next I'm going to be applying a purple eyeshadow from this one is from L'Oreal Infallible. And these are like those foiled eyeshadows. So they are best applied with fingers I believe. I'm just going to place that on my lids and then I'm just going to go over the entire lid area with some product on my finger and I'm just going to smooth it out. The, for the brush I'm just applying some pressure just to pack the color on the lids and uh, a synthetic brush is best for these eyeshadows actually I mean that's what I feel and just lightly very lightly I'm just going to blend that in with the crease color and I'm just going over as I mentioned with my finger over just one more time 
and now I'm just taking the same eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that uh, on a small pencil brush and I'm just going to keep it very restricted to the lower lash line very close to the water line actually and I'm just going to blend that again and I'm just taking a little bit more of that pink eyeshadow and I'm going to define the crease just once more and now I'm taking a black pencil liner and I'm just going to apply that on my waterline, lower waterline and I'm just going to take a small pencil brush and smoke that out with the purple eyeshadow that I had applied earlier. So the small pencil brush really comes in handy. This one is from Makeup Geek. And now I'm moving on with my gel liner and this is the easiest trick to get a perfect uh, winged liner winged liner does take a lot of practice and even after doing it so many times i still struggle with getting like the perfect wing on both the eyes they they're like they should be looking similar but i have a tough time with liner so here i'm just going to smooth it out and make sure that i have tight line my upper lash line also and i'm just going to remove the tape now and i'm just going to apply some powder on that area where the tape was since I've already done my face makeup so here's the final look you guys here's the close-up of the eye makeup and I'm applying Revlon Colorstay uh, liquid lipstick on my lips and the name and everything I'll mention in the description bar below so I hope you all like this look and uh, yeah see you next time bye